Hi everyone, I uh, wanted to give you a quick update. So I know I've been a bit quiet, so it's kind of my intention to try and release at least one or two videos a week. And I was kind of doing okay with that before Christmas. And then I just had a whole load of project work completely explode over the new year, sort of January and February period, and just kind of doing new videos just kind of got pushed to the back burner. So what I wanted to do is just give a quick update on some of the things that I've done in the last few months. So quite some interesting projects I've done, and I've got some interesting projects coming up as well. So first and foremost, I released a brand new Pluralsight course. It's something I've spent quite a lot of time over the last six months working on. It's been quite a hard course to produce. But it's a training course called Blockchain Principles and Practices. And the idea behind this course is it teaches developers how the underlying data structures and algorithms around blockchain and cryptocurrencies work. And the reason I produced the course is because you know, if you are building a blockchain business or working for a blockchain business, and you're probably going to be using things like Ethereum or Hyperledger, but I think as a developer, it's really important to have a good theoretical grasp of what's actually going on underneath, because there is a lot of hype and hyperbole around blockchains. So the intention of the course was just to teach developers, you know, from a kind of computer science level, exactly how these things work. Now that course has been out about a month and a half now, and it is doing really, really well. I'm really, really happy with the results. Uh, lots of positive comments and feedback on it, and obviously that means it's earning some good revenue for me as well. So really, really pleased with what's going on there. Uh, I'm just in the process of going through a proposal negotiation for my next course. I can't really say what it's about at the moment until I've sort of signed the contracts, but that should be happening anytime this week that that gets finalised. Uh, so two other things I've been working on. So I've still been working on the Kindle Publishing, and I've produced two, bo two books in the meantime. So... After I released my Agile and Lean books, and they've both done really, really well, and but I've had quite a lot of people saying, you know, these books actually work really well as a combined volume. And, you know, it wasn't just one or two people asking me for this. I had quite a lot of people asking. You know, they didn't want to buy the individual books. They just wanted a single volume to read. So I was like, well, okay, that's not going to be too hard to do. So what I've got is the version here called A Gentle Introduction to Agile and Lean Software Development. So it is really just the two books combined together into a single sort of unified book. Um, again, it's doing really well. It's selling really well at the moment. So I'm really thankful to everyone that's bought a copy. It is available as a paperback that you can see here. And it's also available on the Kindle platform. Um, I will say though, you know, if you, if you have bought either of the other two books, then it's not worth you getting this one. It's better just to get the single volumes. But if you are interested in going from not a lot of inf uh, knowledge about Agile and Lean to being sort of quite competent around the theories and processes behind it, this book will get you off the starting block really, really quickly. So the next book I've released as well, so I've been quite busy, is I've released a book called A Gentle Introduction to Beating Procrastination and Getting Focused. And this has actually been quite a personal book for me to write because I used to be a really bad chronic procrastinator. Even my wife would joke that you know, once I start a project, I never finished it. And it used to be a bit of a running joke between us. And it's only really since I started doing um, courses for Pluralsight about four years ago that I actually really started to sort myself out effectively and sort of try and get around this procrastination problem and really sort of learn how to focus on my work. So this book is kind of part about you know my story, about where I had problems and how I've overcome them. And I've tried to make it a reasonably short book. So it's information dense, there's a lot in here, but I've tried to make the book short because if you are a procrastinator, the last thing you want to do is read a 300 page book because you know, you'll just do it tomorrow. So that's now out. It's available again as a paperback and it's also available on Kindle. So that's out to buy now as well. So I've got loads of cool stuff coming up. Um, I've got multiple small short guides or short books um, that I'm writing at the moment. I've really enjoyed the writing process, so that's going fantastically well. The next book is actually called A Gentle Introduction to Social Engineering, Attack and Prevention. And it's something that I've been going around um, talking at conferences and at private companies about a lot recently, which is about how social engineers go about going through the manipulation, the pretexting, and the elicitation process. And then when I talk to people about how that works, I've been going through about how you can protect yourself as an individual and an organization. Now, as a conference talk, it's been incredibly popular. Uh, it always gets very good reviews. It went down very well at some banks, which I recently did the talk at. And I've also done a short play-by-play -play course on it with my good friend Lars Clint, which has also done pretty well at Pluralsight. So really what I wanted to do is kind of take what I've been doing in the talk and the workshops, bring it all together into a book. So that's almost finished. I've finished the first draft, so I'm now just going through the editing and the refining process. So I'd hope that will be out by the end of April. 
just before I hit conference season. And I've got a few other books that I'm working on as well, but I'm not going to talk about those just yet. So that's an update from me. So again, I apologize for the lack of videos over the last quarter. Um, I haven't given up. I just got really bogged down at loads of projects, which I kind of started, or well, some of the projects I'd started before I left my previous job. There's lots of new work that came in and the new year was just kind of quite overwhelming with that and teaching workshops and speaking at conferences. So, but now I've got over that sort of work mountain. I have another mountain building up, but I'm going to try and sort of steady things out a bit so that I can focus on producing useful video content for you all. So thanks a lot and I'll speak to you all soon.